Hey guys, it's Rosalind. Welcome back to Skyward Sword. We are here in Lanero and I teleported ourselves here to Lanero Caves. So this is the westernmost bird statue other than the Temple of Time, okay? This one gets us to where we've got some suspicious looking claw shot opportunities. So we're gonna start right here and see if we can get up there. I think that's where we need to be. That's a place we have not been to before. So let's see if we can do some hop, skip, and jump in here. See, we've got a claw shot opportunity here. Uh-huh. Yep. Let's see what's up here. I'm curious. Oh. We, we are in some caves. Oh, Gorko's here. We've got some blessed butterflies. We've got a sign. What does this say? Ahead is Lanero Mine. It is there that I will solve the mystery of the time shift stones. Hmm. Is that Gorko writing that or is that someone else? What's up, man? I almost never get visitors. Oh, that's Golo. This is another guy. Maybe Goron's just really like research. My name is Golo and I'm researching the legend of the three dragons, one of which is said to live here. At first glance, it would seem that there is nothing in this area, but I know there's something here. I will just keep on looking. Your name is Link. I see. Not the easiest name to say, is it? <laughs> and how about you, Link? Why are you here? You are looking for a sacred flame. That sounds like something I have heard of before. Sweet Goro, I remember now. I read something about it in an ancient scroll that spoke of Lanero Sansi. I do not remember all the details, but you can get to Lanero Sansi if you just go straight through here. Oh, but it's locked. If you want to get to the sand sea, you're going to need this key. Oh! Thanks, Fred. <laughs> Good luck to you. Well, why why do you have it locked, my dude? Why do you have it locked? And do we need to do we need to play our our lovely harp here? Oh, gossip stone. Yes. What's this one gonna say? Oh boy, going, 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 going. Oh, gave us an evil crystal as well. They say somewhere in the vast desert, there's a dragon who loves putting the abilities of those who visit him to some kind of test. If you can master the challenges he throws at you, you'll be warded with a shield stronger than any other. Oh, speaking of shield, why is my shield not equipped? <laughs> Let's put that on. <laughs> oh, and there's a chest here. I'm glad he said something about a shield, because I just noticed now. Monster horn, very nice, very nice. Hi. Some book goblins carry a monster horn on their waist. If you latch onto it and pull with your whip, it's possible to claim it for yourself. Yes, we learned that in episode past, that we can steal stuff from book goblins. Also, your update from last episode, that was episode 20. We did a little bit of stuff around Skyloft helping out with some gratitude crystals and talking to Vetro. So you want to go check that out. I'll put a link up there for you in the iCard. But now it's back to the main story. So if you skipped episode 20, that's totally okay. You didn't miss anything story-wise. Episode 19, we completed the trial and made our way here. A report, Master. This is Lanero Sansi. This whole area was once a vast ocean. Makes me think of Wind Waker. The water is all evaporated and now the area is a sea of sand. Yes. How many descriptions, descriptions of sea of sand, sand sea can we incorporate here? Signs indicate that this place functioned as a port, linking the land to the sea. Oh, new part of the map. Indeed. Oh, I'm ready for the boops. Boop. <laughs> okay. This area operated on a new form of power. There's a 90% probability the sacred flame is located ahead. I recommend exploring. Absolutely. That's what we're here to do. We. Ooh! We're also here to die, apparently. I was like, why are there claw shot thingy majigs here? <laughs> That would be because you need to use them, friend. That would be because you need to use them. Okay. Now that we have learned how gravity works, we can proceed. <laughs> Here we go. 
And is there one more for me to connect to? Does not seem like it. We can just drop. Okay. But there is one here. I wasn't wrong, at least. I wasn't wrong. Oh, the music's so nice in this area. So peaceful. What do we got? Lots of boxes. Cargo stuff. Oh, I see some places to dig over here. I don't know if that's going to give us a little spring or anything. Just ants. Just ants! Only ants! Anything else? Looking for any secret treasure? Secret chests? More ants! So many ants! Nope. All clear. Looks like we've got a bird statue here to activate and... Time shift stone and someone to talk to. Skipper! Well, Skipper, you want to help us out, bruh? So we have Scrapper and Skipper. Oh, water. Oh. So he uses a time shift stone to maneuver around the sand sea. Interesting. Hmm, who are you? Bzz, some human? Who am I? I'm the proud skipper of the ship that protects Nehru's flame. Oh, that's what we want, is Nehru's flame. It was the day of the storm. My crew and I were navigating the seas as usual. And then those brutes, the pirates, suddenly attacked us. They were after the flame. My crew was imprisoned and I was thrown into the sea. Oh, I drifted on the current to this port. After that, I took this boat and went searching for my ship and crew, but they were nowhere to be found. It haunts me, wondering where my ship could be. I bet my hat they've turned the ship invisible and are hiding out somewhere. You can't see it. Invisible? In order to protect the flame, the ship has a function that allows it to become invisible. Oh, okay. Say you're searching for the flame. Oh, so you need it to find someone important to you. In that case, you should help me search for my ship and crew. Hey, that sounds like a deal. Help each other out. If you'll help me, then I guess I'll let you on my boat. Absolutely. I'm sure if we're looking for the same thing, then I'm going to come across some of his crew. There's something weird about that map of yours. If you're going to navigate these waters, you need a proper sea chart. There's a sea chart in my shack at Skipper's Retreat. So first you need to get on this boat and set a course for there. Shall we shove off? Oh, okay. I guess we're going. All right. This is going to be cool. Oh, look at the water. My circuits spark to life in the salt air. It feels good to take to the seas again after so long. Let's see if I can remember how to navigate. All right, and some instructions. Oh, cannon. Oh, boy. Place an X over the island where your house is. Okay, there's a pier where we can dock. Cool. Let's go. All right. Wow. Can we speed up? Yes, we sure can. We have a stamina wheel. And am I going the right direction? I sure am. <laughs> oh, so cool. Oh, his house is way up there. Oh my goodness. We gotta get around this little barrier here. And we'll be able to dock here at the pier. Here we go. Get out! Get out! Skipper's retreat. Oh, he's got a cool zip line. Oh no, there's monsters. Oh boy. Bruh, your house all the way up there? We've arrived! My shack is at the very top. The sea chart we need is in my shack, but you're the one who will have to go get it. There are more monsters about than before, so be careful. I can't water far from the boat, so I'll just stay here. Right, because of the time shift stone. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Looks like we've got to do a little bit of platforming. Can I just whack you with this and see what happens? Oh, can I jump on you? Um, the answer is no. The answer is no. This is not Crash Bandicoot. Try again. Can we use a scatter shot? Ow. I'm obviously having a hard time today. Can I jump on you now? No. I really wanted to be able to jump on him, but apparently that's not the answer. Okay. 
we are going to show off our claw shot today. I saw you guys last episode of part 19 saying, oh no, I wanted to see how the claw shot works. Well, today we're going to definitely play around with that, it seems. Lots of hook shotting, claw shotting. Ooh, there's a chest over there. We can't claw shot though, chests. No, that's an Ocarina of Time thing, shucks. These guys you can claw shot too. That's a, uh, what game am I thinking of? Twilight Princess thing. Hi. You gonna light me up? Absolutely. Light my fire. Okay. Bruh. Oh, of course. I was like, oh, watch me be super awesome and not light myself up. No, not gonna happen. Okay, bomb that. And hopefully that'll provide us a way through. Indeed. Looks like it. All right, let's see where this takes us. Oh! <laughs> Into more baddies. That's where it takes us. Let's switch back to our close shot. Okay. Back to the floaty guy. Here we go. Where's the next one? So I'm assuming that Skipper has a built-in claw shot function. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to get it. Well, maybe he flies like, like, um, Scrapper does. Ants! This is just the ant episode, isn't it? Bruh, you've got a shield that I can't cut up. But I still do have bombs. Wee. <laughs> oh, Get him to turn around a little bit. Oh, yeah! Okay, so the secret is bombs. Aww. It would have been nice to have that rupee. But that's okay. Sideways, Rosalind, sideways. Only two hits now. Remember, our sword has been leveled up by the first flame. Red rupee. Consolation prize. Okay. What we got? We can go over there. What is that? Not a bomb. A bomb's not gonna help us get over there, unfortunately. <laughs> up and at him. Nipta, up to. Are we gonna have a problem? Huh? I need a whip, the whip for you. There we go. We're not gonna have a problem, I don't think. What are you? Do I need to... Oh. You're a doohickey. Interesting. Okay. Uh, not the whip. Uh, uh, on a timer. Uh. Uh. Oh, and it continues to move. Interesting. We We take a little trip. Interesting. I thought that was something we could collect, but no, it is it is a plant. Dragonflies! No ants. Okay. Where are we going from here? Oh. I see a friend there. Hmm. Oops. Maybe we need to be outside this little doohickey here. Here we go. Oh, that's definitely not the way to do it. Okay. Well, um, let's see. The harp's not gonna help us. Ooh, how about we use our beetle? We can just cut him down, right? Here we go. A uh, snippy snip! Got him. Now we should be able to use our claw shot. A little closer there. Okay. And there's our next one. Yep. Oh, hippity, hippity. Hippity hoppity. Ow. No, not bombs. No, not. Okay. I mean, that works, but no. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. I'm down here. Like like a bird man. <laughs> Nothing. Oh. Okay. Back to 
our little claw shot. These flowers are evading me. Flower evasion! Let me connect. Thank you. I cannot see. There we go. Oh, we've made it, haven't we? Anything to discover up here? Any any extra goodies? It doesn't seem like it. We can climb up here though, which means there must be something good up here other than a sand cicada, which is making lots of noise. But maybe that's our only uh, consolation prize. It's lots of sand cicadas. Goodness gracious. So many bugs this episode. All right, anyway, we're off to get this C chart. Let's see here. Oh, we're gonna need some bellows, I think. Bruh, I was getting my bellows out. Okay, we've got a chest. Oh, pictures of his ship. Oh wow, he did have a crew. Goodness gracious. Very large crew. Looks like he's got some folks here. Lots of rubies. Go away. And I think we got the majority of it. Go away, little scorpion. Is there a time shift stone in here that we can... Dear Captain, thanks for everything. Yours, the crew. Oh, Is there a stone in here that we can talk to the people? It don't seem like it, huh? Really shouldn't know there'd be open people's cupboards. Well, there might have been a time shift stone in there. You never know. Well, okay. That's sad. I guess we're just here for the sea chart, huh? Ba 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 ba! Alrighty. Yeah, I was already looking at the awesome looking uh, <laughs> Titanic. <laughs> awesome looking uh, photos that he's got. That is the ship containing the flame. There's a 90% chance that the synthetic life forms assembled here are the crew. This image would indicate that the ship's captain spent many happy days among his many crew members. Aww. No, oh, sad face. All right, time to return to Skipper with our sea chart and see if we can't start finding his crew. Thankfully, he's got this really cool uh, zip line and we can just coast all the way back down. I do see that goddess cube and I'm gonna get it. All right, Goddess Cube acquired. We'll see where this one ends up when we return to Skyloft in a future episode. But until then, we've got to return to Skipper. So we've got to go back, use our claw shot on these vines here, do a little bit of climbing and return to the next little zip line. Oh, we How fun. All right, Skipper. We've got what we need, friend. I'm assuming the only one that was there is the correct one. Yes. Now we can finally navigate properly. Let's go look for that ship. Shall we set sail? Absolutely. Let's go. Anchors away. Open up that sea chart. What we got? Oh, the shipyard is at this location. Let me mark it for you with an X. Okay, way out there. Ooh, way out here. Okay. The shipyard is where we used to build our ships. My ship was built there too. If you go to the shipyard, you might find some clues to the location of the ship. Let's go. Okay. That sounds like a plan to me. 
So I went ahead and put a marker down, and we're going to go ahead and get moving. This reminds me a lot of Origami King, the new Paper Mario. We did some sailing in that game, too. Though it didn't have a stamina bar. You go real fast. <laughs> oh, got some Bokoblins. Oh, they've got fire arrows. Ooh. And, and some frog thingies. But we've made it. Let's see if we can't find some clues to the whereabouts of the ship. Oh, so many zip lines. Oh, so many zip lines. Oh. And a roller coaster? Mmm. Oh. And it's 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 not in good shape. We've arrived. This is the island where we used to make our ships. You'll find the shipyard here as well as the town where the workers lived. Mmm. That building is the construction bay. And it's locked. The entrance is closed. Looks like you can't get in. Each location on the island is linked to the others via a minecart track. Okay, minecart, not roller coaster. Same deal. You might be able to get to the back door of the construction bay if you can get around using the other side of it. Okay. E. There's a minecart station over there. Oh, I should head to the station first. I'll wait here. Oh, Skipper. Oh, Skipper. It seems like he's got grand plans for us to be able to find his crew and easily get through the shipyard, but that's all the time I've got for this episode. We'll have to save the shipyard and whatever goodies it's got, roller coaster ride or not, for the very next episode. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you then. Bye!